All right, so I just want to shoot this video to explain a little bit differently some of the concepts that you've been learning. Um, I know that it, when you're using Market Samurai, it can be confusing because uh, all of the screens look the same, whether you're looking at a list of uh, market keywords or niche keywords or, or micro niche keywords. You can get lost very easily in that because it's like all these boxes, like you said, like one inside of another, inside of another. And no matter which box you're in, Market Samurai will always sort of look the same. So it can be really confusing. And so I think there's three things that if you understand these three things and how they work together uh, with Market Samurai, I don't think you'll get lost as much. And I think all of this will make more sense. Okay, so the first thing, I think you already understand this pretty well, is the concept of market niche and micro niche. The micro niche in this little example here is the green box, the blue box is the niche, and the, uh, the market that those are inside is the red box. So an example of a market would be surfing, and inside of surfing you have a bunch of niches, but one of those niches would be surfboards, right? And then within the surfboards niche, you'll have a bunch of micro niches. Uh, one of them might be surfboards for beginners. Okay, and obviously we need to, uh, well what we need to do with the challenge process is focus on the micro niche level because when you don't have any money and you don't have an advertising budget, you really have to focus on low competition um, projects so that you can actually compete and make some money. If you try and start out at the market level, you're just going to get killed and you're never going to make it into the top 10 of Google and you'll never get any traffic. So that's the market niche, micro niche um, concept. I think you already understand that pretty well, but you have to understand that and keep it in mind when you're working with Market Samurai. Okay, so the second thing you have to understand is this notion of a seed keyword. A seed keyword is a technical term for um, one of the market samurai keywords that you have open. The seed keyword is displayed at the top. You can, you know at the top here you can have multiple tabs open and everything. Well these are what market samurai calls seed keywords. It's the, uh, it's the current keyword that you're operating on with the software. So right now I'm in the, I have a seed keyword open called surfing. And I just opened that up by uh, creating a new project. So I went file, new project. And then I typed in surfing into the box. And that made it, that made surfing the seed keyword. But if you're already inside of a project, you can, uh, you can start another seed keyword by going just to the new keyword button and then typing in another one. Like uh, I might say skateboarding. Skateboarding. Okay, and that will make skateboarding the current active seed keyword. Another way to open up a new seed keyword inside of a project is if you've generated a list of keywords by going to keyword research and then you're on the screen where you generate keywords and you click it and it generates this list of 800 or so keywords. Another way to open up a new seed keyword is to find one of these that you're interested in and click the key icon next to it. That will open up that keyword, in this case, pictures of surfers, uh, as a seed keyword. And I can just go into that to make that the current active seed keyword. Why you have to understand this is because when you, uh, the third concept is actually generating keywords. When you generate a keyword list, when you're inside a Market Samurai and you're doing keyword research, and you click on the generate keywords list, and then you wait forever, that keyword list that comes back is going to be based on the seed keyword that you're inside when you're inside of Market Samurai. Okay, that one at the top that's highlighted. The list that comes back will be based on the seed keyword. Okay, and something else to understand about seed keywords and generating keywords is that when you have a seed keyword and you click that generate keywords button inside of Market Samurai, the list that comes back in this space, okay, the list that comes back here, this is going to be one level deeper than your seed keyword. In other words, if you have a market keyword like surfing and then you generate keywords, you're going to get a list of niches, 800 niche keywords. So one of those might be surfboards. 
Okay, so whenever you're in a, you have a seed keyword at one level and you generate keywords, you zoom in one level. So if you start with a market keyword, like surfing, and then you generate keywords inside of Market Samurai, you're going to get back a list of about 800 or so um, niche keywords, okay? Now the reason we don't analyze the niche keyword list is because, number one, the competition for each of these is going to be too much. It's not going to be below 30,000 most of the time. But number two, each of these is going to be so spread out because they're the 800 is covering the entire market of market of, uh, of surfing, our market keyword, that they're not going to be very closely related. And what we need to find is a, a group of like three, four, five, or maybe even six keywords, micro niche keywords, that are very closely related so that we can have a very tightly themed website around these things, around these keywords. So if we had surfing as our uh, our new project, we open a new project and we type in the market keyword as our seed keyword, surfing. And then we generate our list, click and then we wait and we get back this list of about 800 uh, keywords. We're going to have to focus in on one of these keywords by making it uh, a new seed keyword. And of course, since this is a market keyword and we generated the list, this list is a list of niches. These are niche keywords. So we're going to have to focus on one of them. We're going to click the key icon. It's going to open it up uh, a new seed keyword tab at the top. We'll go into that one and then we repeat the same process. Okay, we're inside of that new niche seed keyword and now we're going to generate another keyword list based on that niche keyword. So we had our, our surfing market uh, keyword we generated a list of keywords and we got back about 800 or so niche keywords. We went through that list and we found one that interested us and we said, like, yes, let's focus in on this one. So we made that niche a seed keyword, say something like surfboards. We went into that seed keyword tab and then we clicked generate keywords again. And what's going to happen is we're going to get back a list of 800 micro niche keywords then. Okay, so say, um, say surfing was our first one, our market, our market keyword, we generated keywords, we got a list of, of uh, niche keywords from that. And then we went and we clicked on the key next to surfboards, and then it opened up a new tab up here. We generated some more keywords, then we got back a list of about 800 micro niche keywords. And so with that list of 800 micro niche keywords, okay, with these keywords that we generated, the micro niche ones, now we're going to analyze these, okay? We're going to go into, with this list of 800 micro niche keywords, we're going to click on keyword analysis. And right then we're going to apply our filter, the second one, and then we're going to click analyze keywords. And it's going to go and it's going to filter out the ones that are too competitive and the ones that don't have enough traffic and the ones that have unqualified traffic which is represented by phrase to broad match and we're going to get back a list of maybe hopefully we'll get back a list of three to six um, keywords that pass the test that are relevant now I think it's also important to note that Whenever you start a new project inside of, inside of Market Samurai or you start a new keyword uh, research to make as a seed keyword and do some keyword research, whenever you start a new thing, a new search, you're not always going to choose a market level keyword. Okay? You're not always going to be starting out at the market. Sometimes you'll get an idea like, ooh, I want to do, uh, I want to do, I wonder if there's a good like opportunity with um, like cheap surfboards, right? Cheap surfboards. Now, is cheap surfboards uh, a niche keyword or is it a is it a micro niche keyword? I don't know. I have to run the numbers to check it out. But when you're not working with a market level keyword and you start out at either the niche or the micro niche keyword level, when you start your new uh, your new keyword research project inside of Market Samurai. 
okay, and you type in cheap surfboards, if I could spell here, and then you go keyword research, and then you generate keywords. Because you are already starting out at the, uh, the niche or even the micro niche level, when you generate keywords, you always move in one level, right? So the list you get back from uh, generating a list from a niche or a micro niche level will always be a list of micro niche keywords. Okay, so you'll be starting out, if you start out at the, uh, at the niche keyword level for your search and you generate a list, you're going to, the first search the first generation of keywords will bring you back a list of micro niche keywords. And whenever you have a micro niche keyword list, you're going to analyze them. Okay, so in other words, what I'm saying is if you start out with a search in Market Samurai and you generate a list from a keyword that isn't a market level keyword but is instead a, like a, a niche level one, you only have to generate one list and then with that list you're going to analyze them and apply the filters. You don't have to do it twice because it's already going to be very focused around one one thing, like a niche. Um, so when I give you keywords that I say, oh, hey, this is a good one, like puppy shelters or dog rescue or uh, beginner surfboards, that's already a niche. And you only have to do this search or sort of the, the keyword generation process once.